Yes, yes, yes. How many times can one person post a gold farming video? But to be honest, guys, if methods get better, I'm going to keep you guys updated because I know earning that money within Hogwarts Legacy is... Well, it's just one of the things people just want to learn about. And wild guys, today I bring you by far the best method in doing so. Now guys, if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so without a shadow of a doubt, the best way to earn money in this game is by capturing beasts and selling them. The only thing you can do quicker is actually farming them quicker selling them quicker and while well, today guys i bring you the fastest method without a shadow of a doubt in capturing beasts to sell them okay so firstly guys you're going to need your nab sack if you haven't got your nab sack um, you need to progress a, the main story until you get a quest line for professor weasley called the room of requirement complete that quest you'll then start getting quests for deke um you'll then come to the elf the nab sack and the loom complete these this quest and you'll unlock the nab sack and there you're free to capture these beasts and then sell them guys it's as simple as that okay so the point of the map we're gonna go to is not the usual farm within the forbidden forest it's this one right here so they see this puff skin den right here guys and this is the beauty now we can actually reset these guys quicker than any other way i've seen in the game and i'll show you this uh, right now so i'm just gonna make my way over here guys i've been farming this for about the last five ten minutes my inventory is already almost full and I've got the max slots in my beast inventory. So yes, we're going to go to this farm right here, guys. And you'll see right now that the beasts are here. Now, another little tip you can use, uh, which is actually smart in doing so. Put your game difficulty on easy. Put your game difficulty on... Oh, I'll put it on story, sorry. Put your game difficulty on story. Doing so means that when it comes to capturing these beasts, you literally just aim the nab sack and press the button. Then you just leave your controller. They get, it's a guaranteed catch. They don't try and escape or nothing. It's just so, so easy. So you want to come to this uh, this little den, guys, and capture all of the beasts in here. I think there's between six and eight. Just capture them all, as I'm doing right now. I'm going to run you through the exact, the entire process. Now, the best part about this farm is there's nowhere for them to run, really. The other farm, they just escape. They run all over the mountain, those hills. It's a bit of a pain in the ass. But this one, there's literally nowhere for them to run. They sometimes escape out the front of this cave. It's a little cavern place. But it's just, because it's dark in here as well, you can use that with Elio and it just highlights them in blue. It makes it a lot easier. So therefore, I think I've caught them all now. There you go, I've caught them all, guys. Oh no, there's one left. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I thought that was one there. Now just jump on your boom. Go here. I, I just like this route. Just run, go through this little bridge, under this bridge. And land here. Jump off your boom. Skip time. Just once. Skip time just once. The other method for me always required skipping time by twice. This time, just skip just skip time once. Simply this. Then, just simply go back to the den. Let's go back to the den, which is located just up here. And you'll see that all the little critters are back. There we go. Rebellion. They are all back. Now, I'm not sure how many is there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six here now. Yeah, so there's six here. Or is there seven? I can't, I can't see my eyes. I'm old, people. Give me a break. I'm old. So catch away. I think my inventory is actually almost full now with beasts. But how quick is that? That literally takes a couple of minutes to farm this twice. And you can rinse and repeat this. Now you have to capture all beasts. That's the thing I've, I've figured out. If one escapes, it can it can mess up the rotation. So make sure you capture all the little beasts before you try and reset it. If you don't do this, then like I said, when it comes to resetting it. Hey, where are you going? Come back, little beauties. Yeah, but when it comes to resetting it, if you haven't caught them all, then yeah, I think it can like mess up the rotation. Where are you two going? I see when they escape from the cave as well, they normally just come to this part here and then turn back. So it really is simple. So I'm just going to grab this last one now. I think now my inventory will be full. So now guys, we go to Hogsmeade to sell these. Now you see my inventory, my inventory is literally, literally guys, I got space for one or two, I got space for two. So now we go to Hogsmeade. Yeah, which is this vendor right up here, if you don't know. So pin that and go to this one. It's a Brood and Peck vendor, by the way, top of Hogsmeade. Well, almost top. There's a vendor above this, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying, people. You know what I'm saying, people. 
But yeah, guys, by, like I said, I apologize. I know I've spammed out probably about five gold uh, farming videos now. But at the end of the day, if they do just keep getting better and easier, I'm going to showcase them to you. And I mean, yes, people probably already know about this, but I know many, many people don't. So yeah, come to Ellie Peck and just sell all of these little beasts. Sell them all, people. Even the shinies as well, because I'm, I mean, if you want to breed shinies, um, well, yeah, you don't get nothing for it. There's no actual benefit in get having shinies, as far as I can tell. But yeah, guys, it really is that simple. And there we have it. By far the best money-making method in this game. Uh, I'm only actually farming uh, money now because I want to buy all the brooms. I've got more or less everything else. I just want to buy the brooms. So yeah, and they're pretty expensive. Some of them are like 5k each. But yeah, this this perfect for that. But guys, do what you got to do. Remember, farm that cave. Uh, fly away. Make sure you get all the beasts. Fly away. Reset time. Just change time. Skip time. And go back. And you are good to go, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.